What's up guys? So in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is reviewing some of the gear that I have. All my gear that I have, I purchased from Amazon. I find it to be a little bit easier for me to get my gear from Amazon, just because I can get it shipped to my house and the return policy is fairly simplistic for me. So I'll be going through everything that I have. I have jackets, I got some pants, shoes, and I'll be going in detail how everything fits, the overall review of the product, if it's quality, if it's worth the money, and things of that nature. So stay tuned and I'll be going through all the gear. Thank you guys. All right guys, so we're gonna go through a couple jackets that I have. So this one is a breathable jacket. It's gonna have shoulder pads, it's gonna have arm pads, it's gonna have another pad in the back as well. So these are actually a very good quality pad. I took the ones out of the shoulder just because it's a little bit bulky for me. So if I was actually doing some fast riding, I'd probably put them in just in case if you know something bad happens, you know. But this is a very breathable jacket. This is my go-to because here in Florida it is absolutely hot. So this is um, my favorite, and uh, this one is a size small. So it fits nice and snug. Still got the motorcycle pants on. I'm gonna zip it up. It's really comfortable. It's gonna have its little uh, Velcro straps to make it nice and tight around your hands. So this is the one that I wear during like the summer times and I have another jacket that I, I wear whenever it's a little bit colder as well. And this one is made by Fly Racing, so. Alrighty, so this is my heavier duty jacket and it came with a lot of pads. It came with uh, some pads in the arms, right up in the shoulders, as well as in the back piece. So took the shoulder ones out and as you can tell, this is from my summer jacket. This pad is, you know, much more beefier and just better in general. And this is like a, just a, a cheap pad. This, uh, this pad is not really gonna protect much of anything, but it's better than nothing, you know, but this jacket's much thicker. So I only wear this whenever it's fairly cold outside. This one's made by Hawk, you know, but overall it's a fairly quality jacket. You know, the zippers aren't too bad. You know, it's not like falling apart or anything like that. I've worn this one. This is my first jacket that I had. I wore this one quite a bit. Uh, didn't have any trouble with it. This one's also a size small. But as you can tell, it's a heavy duty jacket. So perfect if you uh, live in uh, colder weather, then you can wear this jacket more often. I don't wear this one too often, especially after getting the breathable jacket, but I have it if it ever is cold and I want to ride. So this is what this one looks like once you wear it. Alright guys, so these are the motorcycle pants that you can buy on Amazon. So these are the riding pants. These are denim. The size that I wear typically in normal pants is 29 inches around my waist. So these are the smalls. They actually fit nice and snug around my thighs, around my waist. They actually fit really well. They're a little bit long because I'm not the tallest of individuals. So with shoes on, I'm 5'9". So you can tell that there's a little bit of room along the bottom there where it's just a little bit extra slack. but. Nothing too crazy, still very comfortable. You can tell that they're much thicker than normal pants, which is good for riding. So let's say that you do get an accident or something does happen, you have a little bit more protection. It also comes with decent quality pads. Um, I've seen worse. I'll show you those on my, my jacket. But these actually go right into the knee holder here. So you slide them in. Then you pull a little top over it. Cover those up so you have some extra protection. And there's also these waist ones as well. And these ones will go right over here on your side. So you have to take your pants off, slide them in, and that's where they'll be sitting is right here. So overall, these are very good, especially for the price. You know, you can't really beat the price, especially with all the safety you get out of it. So if you're just starting and uh, riding, you'll want to spend several hundred dollars on a pair of pants. I think these are only about uh, $59.99 or basically $60 for a good set of uh, starter gear. You know, so these are the pants. Alrighty guys, so we went over some of the jackets that I wear, uh, the motorcycle riding pants that I wear. Next safety gear that we can go over is the motorcycle gloves. 
So these are the brown, and these are fairly cost efficient. Um, I like them, they're handy. They're, um, there's a few drawbacks, you know. So these are the AX, BX, CX gloves. So they're fairly cost efficient, so only like $25. The size that I wear is either between a medium and large, depending on the brand. So these specifically are mediums. So it has that uh, protector sh protective gear or shield along the knuckles. It looks like it has leather. I'm pretty sure it's probably fake leather. I'm not 100% sure. But overall, they work and they function as they should. The drawback, whenever you're riding, uh, I have a phone mount. You try to use that phone mount with these gloves, forget about it. It's not going to work. So I have a hard time just going through my songs because I have uh, some stuff set up on my helmet that I'll show you guys. But uh, touching your phone or doing anything with your phone with these gloves on, they're useless. They're not going to do anything. So I purchased another set of gloves that are actually my first pair that are much better. Uh, they're a little bit more costly, but it has some extra benefits and actually matches my jacket a little bit better as well. So these are the Moto riding gloves and these are also breathable these are much better than those other ones uh, so these you can pick them up for roughly 50 to 60 dollars a pair so what i like about these is the fact that they're more breathable than the other ones and these i wear in a large so i have a little bit more room with them but these i have zero problems messing or maneuvering on my phone the touch screen or the the quality of touching the screen with the gloves themselves no problems these are awesome so they're breathable they match really well and i ride mostly with these gloves on just because it's hot as i said so since they're more breathable i wear the breathable jacket these gloves are going to be ideal also i can touch my phone i like the brown ones for the aesthetic look just because it matches the bike ever so slightly but overall, I prefer these gloves, even though they're a little bit more expensive, just because of the added feature of touching things on my phone. Alrighty guys, so the next piece of gear that I like to use is a uh, large capacity helmet backpack. So oftentimes I'll be riding to the store, going um, to grab a few things or something small, and I'm having to lug around my helmet. I don't feel like doing that, <laughs> I don't enjoy it. So what I got is this backpack. So. I prefer this backpack over a traditional backpack just because it's got the clips in the front, which kind of keep it nice and tight to your body so whenever you're riding, it's not uh, your bag's not jumping around on you or you have to make it extremely tight to hold it to your body. So these clips are fairly handy. Of course, you can take all these off if you don't want all this extra safety uh, on holding it to your body. You know, so you just uh, tighten them all down. It functions just like it should. It holds my helmet. I have a large helmet, so Plenty of room, no problem with that. And I can still store stuff inside the backpack itself. So I prefer uh, riding around with this than a traditional backpack, just because it allows me whenever I get to my destination, pop it inside of my backpack. And it's also a little bit uh, protected as well in regards to the face shield, because it's inside of uh, the backpack or inside of a protective spot. So I don't have to worry about it falling, dropping or something of that nature. Um, so this is made by Goldfire. You know, so I think it's only like $45. So with all this uh, added features in regards to a bottle holder, the clips on the front to hold it close to your body, as well as the helmet holder, and then you've got extra storage inside the backpack itself. I think it's worth it. You know, I've been using it for several weeks now. I enjoy it and um, I would recommend this. This is good. All right, guys, so all the other gear I'll have to review in a second video. So I'll be making a part two to this one. So you guys have a thorough understanding of how the products came, unboxing, and just so I have a little bit more time to talk about the shoes and the helmet and my other miscellaneous gear that I have. Also at the end here, I wanted to show you what the gear actually looks like when you're wearing it and you're riding the bike. Because that to me is, you know, a big deal. I want to know how it's going to look once it's on me and also when I'm on the bike itself. So if you guys enjoy this content or you enjoy um, my channel, feel free to subscribe, follow the journey because I'll be making a lot more videos about the bike because there's a lot of different things I have to do just because it's a uh, Chinese manufactured bike. So I'm going to explain some of the, the things I had to do whenever I first got the bike, whenever uh, I got it registered, all that good stuff. You know, so I'll be making uh, more content in regards to uh, that aspect. But if you guys enjoyed the video and you guys want to follow the journey, feel free to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. And as always, you guys take care and uh, take it easy.